I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess an unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, that is the party of the, of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out, and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple area, temple area early in the morning and thought, when the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full senate of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not, did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priest heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came in and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Praise 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The, the Lord, Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry of, of the, the poor. poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry of, of the, the poor. poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. The, the Lord, Lord hears, hears the, the cry of the, the poor. poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the, the person who takes refuge in him. The Lord, the Lord hears, hears the, the cry of, of the, the poor. poor. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light so that his works may be cl clear clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we could easily make the mistake of thinking that this is all about light versus darkness good versus evil. But I think that is not what Jesus is trying to tell us because in the beginning he said, God so loved the world and also that Jesus has not been sent to this world to condemn the world. And also, more importantly, our reality itself that we experience here and now on earth speaks to us that there is no such thing as light versus darkness. Look into our own lives our daily interaction with one another. Sometimes we consider ourselves the light. At other times, we also fail. We sin. We offend God and our sisters and brothers, and hence, share in that darkness. And for that reason, it is not up to us to interpret or understand this gospel passage as simply good versus evil, but rather a message of love from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ to continue to shine forth as a model and example as much as we could, as often as we could, while we take our pilgrimage here and now on earth. The journey is not easy as, we, as it is filled with many challenges and difficulties. And yes, myself most included, we may fall to the temptation of sometimes sharing in that darkness. But let us remember that the Lord who has died for us on the cross, will be crying. His heart will be broken. 
if we continue to be in error and not be courageous enough to come into the light. May the Lord bless you and all your loved ones, especially your family. Amen. God gave his only son to the world so that we might be saved through him. With faith in his saving power, we offer our prayers to the Father. The response is, hear us. That church leaders may have a spirit of humility as they serve in Jesus' name. Risen Lord, hear us. That political leaders may have the guidance of the Holy Spirit to bear the fruits of peace and justice. Risen Lord, hear us. That prisoners may be treated with dignity and restored to right relationship with society. Risen Lord, hear us. Hear us. For all those affected by the recent crisis with the virus, those who are sick or those who passed away, and also for our brave women and men in the medical field who minister to our needs, Risen Lord, yes. for Patricia Daugherty, offered by myself at this Mass, for Louis A. Krako, offered by Father Jude at this Mass, Risen Lord, yes. hear us. For these and all other intentions we may hold in silence in our hearts. Risen Lord, hear us. Father of love and mercy, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers 
of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all have risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim yeah, your yeah, death, yeah, O Lord, Lord, and profess and your resurrection. resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy Amen. kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and have appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. Alleluia. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already he there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now offer one Hail Mary, relying on the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.